Y'all yeah, should be interested in that. Sorry, guys, they don't give samples on Thursday. <laughs> Hi, guys. Even my side I love to like this. That's all you I love to learn. Alright, this is our get off point where we're going to walk around. You can leave anything on the bus that you don't need to carry, any bags. Because when we go into the Liberty Bell, it's easier to go in if you're not carrying anything. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Get that camera off me. I'm not dancing for the camera. If there's a pole, yeah, I'll dance. Not for the camera. Huh? Oh, how's everyone's bus ride? I, have I no love to learn. I was asleep. <laughs> but, you know, I've been here so many times. I love it. I've seen Liberty Bell. I've, I've never been to the museum. The Ben Franklin Museum. I've, I've been to Tony Luke's one time. Tony Luke's is a pretty good restaurant. Camera girl. Best Philly cheese steaks in the place. Yeah, How are you enjoying the trip? So far? Uh, so far, brings back memories. Okay. Oh, I passed that one in five, ten minutes. Mm-hmm. But Tony looks at the yeah. <laughs> That was a snore, wasn't it? Yeah, you were drooling. Drooling? Just a little? All right. Oh, no. Come on, Carlos, how's the trip so far? So far, good. I couldn't hear you, excuse me? So far, good, I guess. Okay. <laughs> how like, do you like the trip so far? <laughs> He's like the bus ride is starting. But so He's far, like I said the trip. Is boring. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, no. In okay. Philadelphia, it's five bucks or six dollars. We'll record more yeah. later. Hello. Slavery was illegal. George Washington's chef was a slave. He did own slaves because George Washington came from Virginia, a southern state. So every couple of months, his, his chef had to go back to Virginia because otherwise they would have had him as a free man. And he was not. He was a slave of George Washington. I
totally. finished the second administration on the transfer the transition to John Adams happened. That was a very, very unusual thing to happen in those days because usually the way governments changed uh, in those days was you, you lost your head as a king and or you were inherited or whatever. So this was the republic, this was a, uh, an experiment which a lot of people before felt was going to fail, but it did it did fail. Washington, because he was Washington, went back to Mount Vernon, retired, and John Adams took over as president. And that was in uh, 1797. That was a very rare event in those days. Uh, that's, that's one of the major things that happened. If you go upstairs to the Senate chamber, uh, when you leave here, just go up these steps. They're very steep. Uh, and you'll see the Senate chamber. That's where the Senate met from the 1798. Why is the government here? Can anybody tell me why the government is here? Washington, D.C. didn't exist at that time. In 1789, Congress, who was meeting in New York City at the time, uh, made an agreement that the capital would be located down south on the Potomac River. Uh, what he had on the Potomac River at that time, he didn't have Washington, D.C. He had a swamp. So they knew it would take some time to actually build the capital. So the agreement was, part of the agreement was that the government would come here temporarily to Philadelphia from 1790 to 1800. And that's what these buildings were used for. This building was originally a Philadelphia County Courthouse. The state government was here and the city government was here. These buildings were loaned uh, to the federal government for that period of time. A number of things happened. Uh, don't forget that the country was brand new in 1789, 1790. The Constitution kind of laid out the framework for their laws about how the government was going to operate, the three branches of government. And that's a lot of what went on in this room during that period. As I said, if you take a walk up these stairs to the Senate chamber, you'll see. Uh, what the Senate looked like is a much smaller room because don't forget there are only two senators from each state just like we have today. The congressman at that time represented about 30,000 people. Today, the congressman represents about 700,000 people. The way the country, obviously the country's expanded uh, very much since then. Uh, upstairs in the upper chambers where Washington took his, uh, an, uh, accepted the inauguration for his second term. That's one of the things that happened upstairs. What are some of the good and bad things that happened in this room? One of, one of the bad things, obviously, uh, from our perspective, was the Fugitive Slave Act was passed in Europe. And what that was, was it was actually embedded in the original version of the Constitution that said, if a slave escapes from a slave state and goes to a free state, that the free state government is obligated to receive that individual and turn him over to the people that owned him in, the, uh, in a free state, excuse me, in a slave state. Obviously, that was a negative, and that was one of the things that many, many things 
to lay the foundation for the Civil War some seven years later, where 700,000 people died. So that was a, a, a defect in the original Constitution. The Constitution never would have happened. And the Southern states never would have signed on unless there was slavery protection building the Constitution. Unfortunately, that happened. And you had, to, uh, you had slavery for the next 70 years. So that was a negative. One of the pluses that happened in this room and, and upstairs was the Bill of Rights. The Constitution did not have the Bill of Rights originally. The first 10 amendments of the Constitution were approved in this room and put into the Constitution. That was the first 10 amendments. And of course, it covers things like freedom of press, freedom of religion, and so forth that we know and love today as, as the uh, uh, first 10 amendments of the Constitution. That's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, Original pieces in here, these are replicas, as I said, with this chair up here where the, uh, the, the uh, Speaker of the House would reside, or would reside, I should say. That's an original piece. Uh, most everything else, like I said, the government, this, this, this building has been converted back to its use as the County Courthouse for a number of years. The Park Service, this park was created in the 1950s, and what the Park Service has done over the years was try to put it back to what we think the original uh, buildings look like in that, during that period. Does any, anybody have any questions? Oh, come on, at least one. <laughs> it's always the first, it's always breaking, breaking through that first barrier. Is always, uh, okay, unless anybody has any questions, please feel free to go upstairs. Question, James How Madison. Long, how long is that bus been up there? I'm sorry? That was put up there, that's, that's not the, well, that's not the original bus. That was put up there during that period. So, I think I did see Of course, Franklin, uh, This would be the Speaker of the House, just like you have that in Washington, D.C. today. You have uh, Mr. Congressman Ryan, the Speaker of the House for the present government. You would have had the, uh, the original Speaker of the Board of the Congress sitting here, presiding over the Congress. Now, what would he do? What he does today, he, he, well, he kind of sets the rules in the House as far as what legislation, what legislation gets, moves to the floor for votes and so, and so forth, what committee gets what. Exactly what what uh, is done today, actually. How long have you done that? I'm sorry? How long have you done that? What do you Oh, these are secretaries, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were appointed to speak as chair. These were the, the uh, recording, recording secretaries that had recorded the business at the moment. Of course, they had much honors to do this. They didn't say anything. Right. Uh, that would rather not, actually. You had a question? Please go there. What? Oh, you, okay. He stole your question? Okay. All right. As I said, feel free to go up to the Senate chamber and uh, you'll see uh, what the Senate looks like. Sorry. Sorry. Keep coming. Keep coming. We're going to the Senate chamber. The what chamber? The Senate chamber. Do that now. Spread it out and get where you can see. If you're small like me, you can't see. Oh. Yeah. Alright guys, so the reason this room is roped off is that a lot of the pieces in here are original to the U.S. Senate. And they met here from 1790 until 1800, just like the House of Representatives downstairs. Come on in guys, get where you can see, alright? Spread out a little bit. There's some room off here to my left. A bunch of room over there on the far right. Lots of room over there. So some of the people that would have been in here would of course be the U.S. Senators, but up front would have been the Vice President. Everybody remembers George Washington's Vice President, that's John Adams. And then John Adams' Vice President was Thomas Jefferson, so those guys are in this room. A lot of these chairs are original chairs, that's why we have it ripped off, so I'm going to ask that you guys be real careful not to get past those ropes, because it's loud, obnoxious, scary, alarm go off. And um, another event happens here, you're going to hit 
lots of famous people that are coming in here, but so did George Washington. We're actually looking at the place where George Washington was inaugurated for the second time as president. Um, he serves two terms. He wins them unanimously. And this is where he's inaugurated. So he's inaugurated here. He walks down the hall that you guys just came down and out the window there's a little balcony and people are cheering because he's agreed to be a president a second time. He really didn't want to do it a second time. His friends had to convince him that the United States needed his leadership a little bit longer. He waves to all the people. You guys got something to say, go ahead and share it. Yeah, he waves to all the people and then uh, right outside he goes across the street Little Liberty Buzz today and heads home. So Washington's been here. A lot of famous people, but what I want you guys to do is we're thinking about Washington and his inauguration. I want you guys to look in the doors that are open right behind you, off in the far left and far right corner. Take a look in there. If you recognize who it is, tell me who you're looking at. It's George Bell Benjamin Franklin. Any thoughts? Luke, I don't understand what the fuck is inauguration. Yeah, Adams? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. No, no. Let's go. Wait, Mr. H, come. You still have no room, right? Thanks. <laughs> early therapy, yeah? Hold on. Okay. Everyone get the hell out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your hand. I like the hand warmers in my school bag. That's a good place. Yeah, I know, right? Now my school is. Oh, you alright? Yep. Okay. Where are you, where are you all from? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. New York? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, very cool. Who's up in front? Who's Janai? They're uh, not making him pull the, the carriage, are they? Oh, I'd do it. Mm -hmm. I just go. Later. <laughs> you get the rooster, so. Yep. Chickens? Oh, uh, turkey. Oh, yeah, it's a turkey. I mean, I used to come here a lot. Okay. It's very cool. What kind of horses are they? Uh, we have crossbreds. Uh, the one that you have is actually a standard bred. That's uh, so just you with old race horse.
Oh, just a few hours. Oh, yeah. okay. Taking the time, lad. Um, don't get stuck. Are you trying to get yeah, hit by a bull? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know you, Carlos. <laughs> Are you trying to get hit by a bull? Oh, look at ah. that. Look at that. They're playing. <gasps> They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. That's ah. where he gets the scene from. <laughs> it's only too bad that we're going to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Wow. Go feed it. 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 Go feed um, April will be a year. So not quite one year. How much really do they get? Um, when you walk into the market, you Oh, look at the baby phone. Okay. Oh, no, don't get the other one. Okay, okay. Look at the baby phone. I want to feed the horse. Okay, we'll check those out too. Let's feed the horse. Look at the baby horse. Okay, and actually, all the mamas up there should be giving birth right about the middle of April. Oh, wow. Those are all my females up there. Do they have like a breeding season? Do they normally um, give birth in, in April? In November, I will gentlemen up with the ladies. Oh, okay. And then about April, mid-April, they'll start having their little ones. They're up. They're five months they gestation? They have five months gestation, yep. And it's not uncommon for them all to have two or three oh, wow. little ones. So we'll have two or three. Nice. <laughs> 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 No. They're fighting over food. That's fighting over shit. Look at that. That guy's a pig. Except a dirty pig. <laughs> you wanna walk down and see you get your <laughs> I'm good. 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 I'm good.
Oh man, that's too funny. Oh shit! <laughs> Carlos! Carlos! Give me that. I'm gonna No, stop! Toro, Toro! Ole! I, I would have Toro, it Toro! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? The fence is electric, don't touch the fence. <laughs> yeah, touch it, you'll get candy. <laughs> Oh, it's to him. It's not really electric. Go for it. No, no it don't. says it's electric. It's not, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, don't talk it. He's really gonna get electric. Mmm. Oh, eating. He goes over every time I do it. Mmm. Oh. Recording? Yeah. I think he's coming for me. <laughs> Going after George. I don't know. We'll see him electrocute. On second thought. We are coming. We look at the muerta. It looks like a bulldog. Yeah, that's a Highlander, bro. That's what the guy said. A Scottish Highlander. You're welcome. It's shaggy. Who are? We're gonna bring the bull over. We did that for you. Where were you last evening when we had a more tornado warning? Oh gosh, at home with the same thing. I thought my house was gonna fly away. We had bad storms last night as well. Yeah, there was uh, several big buildings that went down the oh, floor. Oh wow, gosh, I hope everyone's you know, okay. I didn't hear if there were any chickens involved, but there were 600 feet long buildings. Wow. So, yeah. Is this a real school? I mean, no. Oh. This is just built here. Down the house built here 10 years ago. Mm. To look like a new school. But there are about 300 or 400 of these schools in Lancaster County. Oh, wow. Well, it's called the Lancaster County Amish uh, Shelter. <coughs> York and Chester County are involved, but mostly Lancaster County. I used to be a teacher in a school like this. Cool. So that's why I can just sit here and pretend I'm <laughs> And I love when big groups come in and fill up my schoolhouse. But this didn't work out for you. I, I thought you were coming at 2 o'clock. Oh, um, yeah, we got a little, a little, the bus driver got a little lost. Oh. A little. Uh -huh. A does lot. He, does he have a GPS? <laughs> no. I, I would have assumed so, but we had to make two U-turns, so I don't know what's oh going on. Oh my. But this is a similar setup to what the school children would see, these smash uh, wooden lion desks. Now these desks, they don't always have desks like this. Oh, that's true. These are old, old desks. Right. And you know what the round holes are there in the top of the desk? I can't say I, I have a desk. Oh! <laughs> Who's not, not a old smoker enough to know? They are called inkwells. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are the Roman numerals. And what's this? That makes sense. And what's this? That is a propane gas heater. Um. Now, since we have, we're here in the summer, so they put this unit in, which is put Right, in. I imagine that wouldn't be part of the. So they don't, don't use a right. gas heater, but the schools are. Okay, in a school like this, well, my children only go through eighth grade to school. Okay. So, I tell people, well, we get a lot of children on field trips, children, young people. Okay, you study hard and be our doctors and lawyers, and we'll come and build your houses. Mm. See, that's what the Amish are being, only about 25% of this area are farmers um, right. anymore. Oh, really? Because oh, the pull land off. is so expensive along the east, eastern seaboard, you know. Right. So, a, a 50 acre dairy farm can cost you a million dollars, and a 100 acre dairy farm can cost you two million dollars. So, not everybody right. does that. Where so, have the jobs moved to? Well, the rest of the Amish men are working. They eat or not your so you food. Give us dinner. All the cookies are gone. No. <laughs> you can be here now. 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 You can be here now.
the rest of your crew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, you need to go. Not the ropa. <laughs> okay, so little girls, um, Amish always wear solid color clothing. Okay, you can sit on the chairs. That's fine. This is Yesenia Torres reporting from the bus. Hi, George. Hi. So, did you like the trip? Yeah. Okay, anything you learned from it? I learned how to... How to... A lot of things, like... I can explain a whole lot of things. Okay, you explain what? Okay. It was a lot of things, amazing things. I learned now the... The meaning of... <laughs> <laughs> I learned that <laughs> I learned All right. Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and uh, my Maria Antoinette. Yeah. Anywhere specific you guys went? I went to the Amish farms. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. Can you live like an Amish person? I think that I will. Yeah, I think it will be fun. Oh, man, I have a question about the boat and we're back ashore. Oh, okay, that'd be interesting. Thank you. That was a fun trip. Hi, Mike. Did you uh, enjoy the trip? Yeah, I did pretty much. That was all right, though. Awesome. What was, like your, what was your favorite part? Uh, just riding around on the bus. Nice. Was there anything that you learned on the trip? Uh, one thing I know is I'll never live like the Amish. Ah, so let me ask you this then. You couldn't live like the Amish, huh? Yep. Why not? What do you think you'd miss most? Well, my valuables. Oh, yeah? My guitar. Ah, uh, the electric guitar, right? Yes. Certainly no electric guitar or instruments with the Amish. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Mike. No problem.